Hi friends, in today's video I'm going to be explaining the six gimbal modes of the Osmo Pocket 3. So if you're new to the camera or you simply want a refresher, then this video is for you. Okay, so there are in fact three main gimbal modes of the Osmo Pocket 3. The follow mode, the tilt lock mode and the FPV mode. So I'm going to explain the differences between them, how to get to them and some situations where they might be useful. And then later on in the video, I'm going to explain the three additional modes, which are more specialist and more advanced. Today, I'm going to go to the beautiful new forest in Hampshire, England, where I'm going to be making the video. All right, let's get straight to it. All right, so in order to gain access to the gimbal modes, we need to swipe down from the top. And then we're going to go to the gimbal modes, which is the bottom right here. And then we can swipe to the left or right to actually choose the mode we want, for example, uh, Apollo mode or tilt locked mode. OK, so let's talk about the very first mode, which is the follow mode. So the follow mode allows you to pan left or right, for example, like this. And you can also tilt the gimbal up and down. But the only axis this is locked is the rotation uh, movement. So if I try and rotate my hand like this, for example, you can see that the gimbal head is actually staying stationary, so it's not actually moving. So this rotation axis is locked. But the pan axis and also the tilt axis is uh, unlocked. So for example, you could use this mode particularly for maybe walking tours or maybe like vlogging on the street or and any, any sort of general purpose um, movement with the, the Pocket 3, this is the mode you want to use. I say this is pretty much um, the mode for maybe 80 or 90% of your needs. So this is why it's kind of the default mode on the Pocket 3. All right, so let's move on to the second main mode, which is the tilt locked mode. So as the name suggests, the tilt lock prevents you from moving the gimbal up or down. So if I actually try and move like this or tilt it, you can see that the actual gimbal head is remaining level and stationary. But we can still uh, move the gimbal left or right. So if I try and pan it like this, then we can also do that. And once more, just like the follow mode, the rotation axis is also locked. So the tilt locked mode um, is probably one of the most restrictive modes because only one of the axes is, which is unlocked, which is the panning mode here. All right, so where are typical situations where you may find this mode useful? Now, for example, imagine yourself maybe on a beach or um, in a big location where you want to keep the horizon nice and level. So the tilt lock mode is perfect for doing that. So you can pretty much line up your gimbal with your horizon and you can just do like a dolly shot or something like that, move it to left or right, and the gimbal head's gonna remain level, so it's gonna keep your horizon nice and straight. Okay, so there are some schools of thought about which are the best mode to use for, for example, walking tours, whether you should use the follow mode or the tilt to locked mode. And it pretty much depends on some of the actual situations you find yourself in. Now, I would say that probably most of the situations you probably wanna to stick to the follow mode because it's the easiest mode to use. Um, but there are certain times we, where the tilt lock mode for walking tours are particularly useful. Now I've got a whole dedicated video to that particular topic discussing the pros and cons between the, the follow mode and the tilt lock mode, so make sure you check that video out. All right, let's now move on and we're going to now go to the FPV mode. So the FPV mode unlocks all the axes, so if you want to uh, pan left or right, you can do that, as you can see here or you want to tilt up and down, then you have that motion. And in addition, unlike the other two modes, you can also do rotation. So if I actually rotate the gimbal like this, you can see that it's actually following that action. So this mode pretty much allows you to uh, have a full freedom of motion. You, whatever you want to do, whether you want to go to a left or right or anything like that, then this is the mode to use. So for example, you maybe want to follow some action. Maybe you're, you know, you, maybe you're chasing your children around, um, around a garden or you're chasing a dog around a garden. Then the FB mode is perfect for that. Or maybe you're following something like you know, a skater or a cyclist. Once again, the, the FPV mode is your friend. Okay, so we've talked about the three main gimbal modes of the Pocket 3. So there are actually another three um, sort of specialist modes, I suppose, including one new mode that's um, come out recently on the May 2024 firmware. So make sure you've downloaded that to gain access to that mode. Okay, so let's just talk about that special mode. So if you actually go to your gimbal modes and sw swipe completely to the right, you should see something called the FPV inverted mode. So this is the new gimbal mode that is now available. So if we actually choose that mode, 
then um, it's a little bit of a sort of difference, slight difference between that and the FBB mode. And the difference is, is that the gimbal is actually locked to where the screen is currently facing. So my screen is facing this way. So as I actually move it, you can see that the gimbal is actually making sure it's following the same orientation of where I actually have the screen facing. Now you might go, okay, so what's, what's the point of this mode? This is particularly useful, for example, if you want to do maybe close-up shots, um, like so I probably can't show you because you can't see on the camera here, but if you're coming up to maybe this a plant here, I can actually just point straight at it and then just record. Now, when I actually had the, uh, any, all the other previous modes, I would actually have to sort of um, manhandle my hands or sort of raise or lower it to try and get the actual uh, thing that I'm recording in shots. So that's very, very uncomfortable. Whereas so the FPV inverted mode allows me simply just to point at an object. Let's say I want to uh, point at my mobile phone just here. Let's say just as a, just an example, I can simply just point and hit record. And it's nice and easy just to do a quick shot like that. So very, very similar to how you'd use a mobile phone. So that's the FPV inverted mode. Now let's just pop that down for a moment before I break it. Let's now move on and talk about the other two specialist modes. So one is called the spin shots mode. So to access that, you have a little sort of icon on the left hand side. You want to press that. And then at the bottom, there is the spin shot. And you can choose between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. So that's pretty much, if you choose one of these two options, then the gimbal is going to automatically do a spin shot view for the actual desired degrees. So for example, if I wanted to go over to this tree up here, maybe I wanted to do a shot of the canopy and I wanted the gimbal to kind of rotate, I could choose 90 or 180 degrees. Let's just go and do that now. So let's go over there and I'm going to choose 90 degrees. Uh, just go and pop up here, choose 90 degrees, and then I can just hit the uh, go button and you'll actually see the gimbal will start to do a rotation. And to exit out, you simply just uh, go back to this mode and press the exit button again. So it's pretty handy, for example, if you want to do shots of it, so the canopy or just want to do something really funky. So I just need to exit out of that mode and it's going to hopefully put the gimbal back to normal. No, it doesn't. So it's going to, whoops, now I'm back in vlogging mode, one, two, three. Okay, we're back to normal again. So that is the, uh, the FPV inverted mode we talked about and the spin shot mode. Let's just talk about the very last specialist mode, which is the gimbal locked mode. So as the name suggests, this locks all three axes. Um, so we don't have access to the panning or the tilt or the rotation mode. So if I press and hold the joystick in, so it says a gimbal locked mode, and you could also see a little icon appear next to the battery. And notice if I try and rotate, I can't do that. Or I tilt up or down, I can't do that or I can't pan left or right. So the gimbal is going to remain facing in a direction when I actually press the button. So you could actually do uh, quite nice, maybe like a push forward or a pull back shot. That's particularly nice if using the gimbal locked mode. Okay, so that is pretty much all our modes we talked about. So if, as a beginner, I suggest that you concentrate very, f first of all, on the three main gimbal modes, the follow mode, the tilt lock mode, and the FPV modes. First of all, make sure you're comfortable with those modes, you know how to access them, and you, you know, go out on, uh, and practice with your Pocket 3, making sure you've mastered those modes first of all. And then when you're feeling a little bit braver and you've you know, got, got those onto your belt, you can then start to experiment with the other specialist modes, for example, the spin shot modes and the FPV inverted modes and that sort of stuff. So there we go, that's a very quick, quick beginner's guide to using the Pocket 3 and the modes. I hope it's useful, and of course if it is, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, and I shall see you soon on another video.